Hey guys, what's up? Um, before this recording, um, I just realized that my mic wasn't in. So, um, I was using the internal one and it didn't sound as good. So, sorry about that. Also, sorry for the clicking sounds in the tutorial. There's so many of them and, um, they are kind of annoying. So, sorry about that. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It is Knuckles here, and today in this or in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to animate weapon and uh, hand. So it should, oh, should, should look like this. Uh, we can't. We're gonna try to make something like that. Uh, well, not particularly like that. Like a just really basic. Um. And yeah, let's get started. Now, okay, I'm gonna. Oh, it's kind of messy. Sorry, it's kind of laggy as well because of recording. But whatever. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is rig the gun. So, um, I'm gonna rig the gun, not the hands, because the hands are already rigged. Um, okay. So, the first thing. Uh, yeah, okay, the first thing we're going to do is you should have a bone like this. It's going to be the bone which can move everything around. So, you want to click on the very edge, press E, and click, and then drag this forward. And then that makes another bone. Then you want to press Alt P, and it should say clear pan or disconnect bone. Do you want to disconnect bone? You drag it forward. Um, around. Oh, and to move around, you wanna it's shift middle click to go left and right like this, and just middle click to move around. Um, and this, if you move this down, there should be a line apparent, so that will be useful. I guess, kind of, not really. <laughs> um, so then you wanna position it. Uh, it's easy to position if you press. View and bottom left, then press well, numpad five, but I don't have numpad. <laughs> um, yeah, so view perspective orthographic, I think it is, and then click side view, then front or right. Then you want to right click edge, yeah, press G, and you don't have to hold it down, you just click it, uh, press it, and you just line it up. With the gun magazine, uh, okay, there you go. And then you wanna just go to the front view, line that up as well. It doesn't have to be one hundred percent perfect. Um. Oh. Pfft, okay. First, okay, you wanna make the uh, what's it called? The body bone first. So that. Uh, sorry, but, uh, yeah, you should put the body bone first, and, um, yeah, then you want to click the part, the, the end, which hasn't got the parent line to it, um, so you want to press E, pull that out, right click it, Alt P, disconnect bone, um, and then you see we press go. Just connect that bone, drag it down to your magazine. This can work on any gun, doesn't have to be like mine. Um, then you want to get out of this view. And. Okay, so now you want to click on the magazine, press Shift D, drag it out, and uh, move it towards the trigger. Um, Move it towards the trigger and line it up. Okay, that should be good So next is the the charge. So um you only should be attaching bones to 
Um, oh, sorry, let me just get out of there. You only want to be attaching bones to objects. So, if we look, this is an object. I can move it around. The barrel is not an object. It's attached. Well, it is an object. Well, I don't know. It's not attached to our main body. Um, the sights don't even bother. So, it's just everything which you can take apart. So, there. There. You get the point. <laughs> Um, alright, next, so you wanna get this bone, edit mode, edit mode, edit mode, and then press shift D, and click, and then drag out, drag out, make sure it's lined up, yep, it's lined up, click the top, click down a bit, Alright, now we have the gun, right? You might be thinking, that doesn't move anything. Um, there's two ways to do this. There's the easiest way, is if you just find one object onto one bone. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, uh, I'll show you the way first. Is you click this. Yeah, you go into object mode, and then... Oh, uh, no, just, yeah, just do this my way. That one was weights, but it's probably not good in this rig. So you want to click the object, right-click the bone, and when you right-click the bone, click Control tab, or go into pose mode, um, and then press Alt-P, uh, wait, oh no, Control-P, sorry, and then click bone or bone relative. I think it's, I'm just going to, yeah, just click bone. And then, when you click this, you should go and move the whole thing around, and, uh, yeah. So then you want to do this to all the, uh, parts, and, yeah, I'll just zoom forward a bit. Alright, so I will just. Um, Alright, so I have um, rigged everything I need to rig. And um, you can start animating. So. Um, Alright, so go into edit mode and make sure everything is in edit mode. And then right click your armature and press. Ah, uh, uh, press Control Tab or go down to the bottom left and um, press Pose Mode, and then um, we can start animating. So this is this you can do whatever you want here, um, but this is my setup. So yeah, so you want to drag this out a bit. Um, top right, you should see this. And go down to dope sheet, click that, and then you want to scroll with this. You can scroll up and down, press action editor. Um, it should be, it should have dope sheet. Click it and click action editor, and then um, this timeline drag to first frame. Oh, what? Um, I'll just get rid of that. What is happening? Ah, uh, there we are. Sorry. So you want to go to the first frame on here, and then you want to go to scroll, and it should say new. Click new. Click where it says action, and rename it to whatever. Let's call it reload. Um. Then you want to click the F, and um. Yeah, click the F button. This the F the F button will mean it's going to be saved. So if you import to Unity or you know 3D program the animations which have F are there. So if I make a new animation and get an F, it's not going to import to Unity or whatever you're using. If that makes sense. So click that. 
and then down here on the timeline you should see all these buttons um, oh, it should look like that click that red button this means every move you make will be keyframed so if you don't want that and you want to keyframe manually just turn that off then you want to click the key on the right not the first one click that and click uh, lo lock rocked so that, <laughs> that sounds funny um, it stands for location rotation and you've got all these other ones but I use location rotation if you use rotation location location rotation scale it will if you accidentally scale then it'll look ugly and stuff like that so try not to use that so local rotation and then you want to you can do this here or here but first you want to right click your armature press A twice and press I this will say added keyframes for your setting it will add a keyframe to every single thing um, and yeah so that how long has it been? 15 minutes. So that's the first bit of this tutorial just ringing the gun getting ready for animation and um oh man I'll do a second part soon hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe and uh, comment what you think uh, this was also my first tutorial so it was kind of crap um if I could approve anything just comment and yeah thanks guys and uh I'll upload next tutorial soon.